Well, uh, this relation to me, it's so, so great for me that I don't know how to express to you all the things that I have for this revolution. If I can die for this revolution, I die. If I can fight, I fight because this is only my life. Well, I really don't think that the majority of the people like uh, Mr. Castro. The only thing is we are living under a big, big panic. No! 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 my rules. Hold matches till cold, then break in two. Crush out smokes. Kill the red really dead. Drown your campfires, and then stir, and drown them again. Please, only you can prevent forest fires. A push-up is a little thing, but little things add up. This is Eddie Lewis doing a simple push-up. So simple that people wondered why his school encouraged him to do it. Until they took a close look at the anatomy of a push-up. When Eddie pushes himself off the floor, he puts pressure on his arm and shoulder muscles. His whole body benefits. His heart beats faster and stronger. His face gets a little red. That's because his circulation stepped up. When Eddie relaxes, his body goes back to normal. With one important difference. Eddie is just a little bit stronger a little bit healthier, and a little happier than before. A push-up is a little thing, but it adds up to bigger things, the way little words mount up to make important sentences. For a free booklet to help you evaluate the fitness program in your school, write the President's Council on Physical Fitness, Washington 25, D.C. Buckle up for safety, buckle up. Buckle up for safety, always buckle up. Pull your seat belt snug, give an extra tug. Buckle up for safety, buckle up. Buckle up for safety, buckle up. Buckle up for safety, always buckle up. Show the world you care by the belt you wear. Buckle up for safety when you're driving. Buckle up, buckle up for safety, buckle up. Buckle up for safety, always buckle up. Put your mind at ease, tell your riders, please. Get your seat belts buckled, everybody buckle up. The National Safety Council says, if you don't have seat belts, get them. If you do have seat belts, use them. Seat belts can and do save lives every day. Buckle up for safety, everybody buckle up. Burns me up. Don't get angry. Bill's having a tough time. He's upset, emotionally upset. Yes, but he's always that way. I realize that, but he can't help it. That's what we must try to understand. How true that is. People who habitually react this way may be emotionally ill. It's not the way they want to be, it's the way they have to be. Because of something inside them. But remember, these people can be helped. Sometimes professional help is needed, but very often it's the sympathetic understanding of the people around them that makes the big difference. 
That's why it's so important that you try to understand rather than criticize. Show concern rather than irritation when you deal with such people every day. Learn more about how to handle mental problems. Send for the new free booklet, How to Deal with Mental Problems. Write Better Mental Health, Box 3000, New York 1, New York. This is what a marriage looks like. Beginning, this is what a marriage looks like building. And blossoming. And blossoming. And then, this is what a marriage can sound like. Love, honor, cherish. Remember those words? Sometimes they lose their joyous, noble ring all too soon, just in the course of daily life. But did you ever notice that in marriages with religious faith at the center, faith between partners holds firm in the face of irritation or pain or anxiety? To put religion in your home or keep it there, worship this week in your church or synagogue. Find the strength for your life. This is Lyndon B. Johnson, Honorary Chairman for the American Cancer Society's 1964 Crusade. America is a nation of doers. We accept no tragedy as inevitable. And that is the stand we have taken in the fight against cancer. All together, volunteers, physicians and scientists, the government, we are united in the effort to conquer cancer. This month, under the sword of hope of the American Cancer Society, two million volunteers are raising funds and giving their neighbors this leaflet with facts that will help protect them against cancer. I have carried the Society's life-saving message myself door to door. Fight cancer with a checkup and a check. To cure more, give more. Welcome your neighbor when she calls for the cancer crusade. 